that. Yep. So off grid guy, way to go. Thanks. And oh, wait a minute now. Are you still there? All right, thanks. Thanks, Ed. Uh, no, uh, are you come still? Up to the islands. We need the money. Are you still there? Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, did you hear Richard talk about the hydrogen cell? The fuel cells, methanol, methanol fuel cells. Because yeah, it's always interesting, but the trick is decentralized. Well, no, I'm, when you're talking about a fuel cell, we're actually using one uh, out on the, the Chehalis Flats in, a, in an off-grid camera system. To film eagles. Okay. On Hornby. No, the, Hornby's wired. The Chehalis oh. one is unwired. It's actually a radio link about a mile, in, about a mile out in the middle of the uh, estuary. Well, that sounds really cool. And I, Richard set I, that uh, up. We have a windmill uh, that I've built here, and we have got solar panels and uh, all the conveniences of most people's homes. Uh, we just uh, don't need to, to subscribe to the, you know, the great myth that everybody needs hydro from the poles. Oh, yeah. I, I understand that one completely. Anyway, all right. Thanks very much. we got another question here on, that came in on the chat. Well, let too. me just uh, to right. off grid guys. You guys have a great night. Yeah, one more second. Davidson Batteries, if you do know them on Broadway in Vancouver. Uh, I think so, yeah. Davidson Batteries has built more off-grid battery systems for houses in B.C. and South Africa and so on than anybody else that I know of. So next time you're in town, you might want to drop it. It's a really inconspicuous, non-entity shop when you go there. It looks like all they do is sell car batteries. But they build sophisticated, sophisticated uh, systems, uh, you know, uh, over in South Africa and all over the interior of BC. Yeah, they probably build them custom dry and ship them, and then they get them filled there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I've got about a hundred. Uh, I have about a hundred uh, um, NICAD uh, industrial NICAD batteries sitting down at, at uh, David Hancock's that we were planning on using for this off-grid system. Uh, oh. About a thousand ampere hours. We find a lot of old UPSs are coming available now. Uh, yeah. A lot of them have been maintained well. The batteries are good in them, and they're, you know, they're designed for the old mainframe types of stuff. So there's plenty of stuff out there right now that's reasonably priced as far as that goes. Yep, just got to find it and put it together and know how to use it. That's right. That's that's what it is about. Well, yep. I've got eight Duracell. They're actually uh, Xantra. Xantrex? Xantrex, or actually Xantrex. Xantrex, that's right. That's yeah. the old trace. You know, right. I have uh, eight of their 1800s, 1800, 1800s, uh, PH, 1800 PHPs here as battery backups for our computers. That's great. I run the house here on eight Trojan L16s. They're 375 amp hour batteries. Yeah. Well, way All to go, sir. All sorts of fun. Anyway. All right, thanks again, guys.